Welcome to That's Dope, the podcast where we talk about dope things. My name is God's Will Ugwa Jr. Uh, I it's been a while. Like it's been like quite a hiatus, I would say. Um like yeah, I think like this is like sort of beginning of like a new season where like uh starting season three, I wanted to like talk to people who helped make the podcast what it is and the events and all that. And just sort of talk to people along the way, like as we're ramping back up, uh, sort of like how the world is starting to ramp up again. Uh, and my guest today is Dave, aka Fanbase. Uh, this guy was instrumental uh, in making that One Piece online event happen, like where it was for charity. Uh, we brought in a bunch of great YouTubers. Uh, we did a lot of great events. And this guy, Dave, was absolutely crucial in making that whole thing happen. Uh, thank you, Dave. Welcome to the show. Excited to have you on. Uh, you know, I've been wanting to talk to somebody about the One Piece event for a while, just to sort of go deeper yeah. into like what had happened, and then of course, always talk about One Piece. Like I absolutely important, adore it. Important. Exactly. I'm, you know, someone who understands it, how important it is, and I'm gonna convert my my listeners to watch One Piece. You know, read One Piece. You know, it's so crucial. I keep talking about it like every episode. Hopefully this is the the push you need. <laughs> so thank you. Tell us about yourself. You know, like also, how do we meet? We 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 met like at a convention, right? Yeah, like I believe it was like some convention, not maybe AMA Boston. I probably AMA Boston. It was like maybe when Kazuki Yao was uh, like guest at yeah. AMA Boston. I don't know what year that was, but uh -huh. I was with my Intel Down group and like um, one of my friends is like Big Mom and. Uh, we were like really hyped to see Kazuki Yao. <laughs> yes. Um, you no, know, because I like I like yeah I like his performance as Frankie Bon Clay and like Ninja Man from like uh, Kaku Kaku Rangers uh, oh. uh, Super Sentai. Uh huh. He's got that very like you know smooth voice that's also really distinct. It's almost like a almost like whiny smooth. Yeah. Like, um, it's 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 good. But like uh, I think we met. Uh, you showed showed us your tattoo. We thought that was sick. We talked about it for like a week afterwards like that's a that too hey like that. i'm glad you know and also yeah kazuki yeah like he's my favorite voice in one piece like i love the dub the english dub of one piece but like his voice is like what takes it like just a little bit more to me you know like where it's like oh yeah the sub wow i love that sort of it's so uh, distinct. I love it. yeah it's really distinct voice i i don't really know like how to describe it but like um it's just comedic and it feels like honestly like very inviting in a way which is sort of yeah. weird yeah so I, I get it i get it like, yeah um i I'm feel glad very, you very much much the same way about like uh you know like if i can pick out like certain voice actors a lot of times mm -hmm. um this doesn't apply to someone like say jeff nimoy for example the voice of tentomon he just has a very particular type of voice for the English <laughs> of tentomon uh -huh. and like that that that's my well some of my uh that's my like favorite like uh, voice performance uh in all of like like dubbed anime wow but like, yeah, uh, that's... yeah i was like i hadn't heard the japanese sub uh tentomon but like i can really think about like the english dub tentomon the nerdy so sort of quirky like, uh, it's like the tentomon that yes sort of thing. there we and, go <laughs> it's great it's, it's, it's great I, lo I, I love that um and in the, in the um in the sub the original japanese um you know language dubbed i think he's like takiro uh, sakurai is the voice actor the voice actor of cloud and he like think talks with this like really thick like kanzai ben accent mm. it's like it's, it's really it's really like different from like what they went for in like the uh dub and i, I love it okay. i like both tentamons but uh, yeah i mean i watch i need to watch like i need to watch that new digimon that just came out recently um i was waiting for the dub honestly and mm. i hope there's a dub i don't know if there's gonna be a dub but the uh the uh the movie no uh not the movie although the movie does have a dub um but the new show that just oh came yeah out. yeah the 2020 uh, adventure 2020 yeah, yeah no. uh, so like, i guess like a lot about like you know who i am is like i like digimon in one piece so that's hey, that's, that's a lot taste. that's a lot of uh <laughs> what i like but yeah no i'm a recent college graduate um you, you can call me dave or fan base i'm not great at branding myself re right now i'm kind of like um you know just working part-time as a video editor mostly for fun and then uh working working from home and hopefully since things are starting to open up where i am get a part-time that's you know just to get me out of the house nice cool man and, like uh, it i live a pretty simple simple existence i mean hey that's the, probably like the best thing to do especially like right now like where i think people like are wanting the world right now and just sort of not understanding that the world is sort of 
opening up, you know, like was shut down and like is opening up, you know, versus like trying to force it, um, you know, and it really was because of that, you know, that like um, we worked together on this one piece event that just happened mm-hmm. uh, early or mid January, actually, um, where what we did was it it was a celebration of the 1000 chapter of one piece like it's a huge uh, milestone one piece, it, huge milestone exactly how many other franchises reach that far um it, you, oh, know, I, you know like actually like i saw like i did i had like when i was making a video about the celebration i saw like mm-hmm. 20 other series have done that but then again you know the only one i can really think of off the top of my head would be like detective conan and even then did that have a celebration not really like uh at least far as i know like this one piece like is such a big deal that like I was like, I got to celebrate it. I, you know, even if the world is shut down or we're all stuck in house, uh, got to do something for it. Right. Um, good call. Good call. Yeah. And, you know, like at first, like the idea was to do something physical and you know, before Corona, I was thinking like, oh, let's see if we can do like a boat party or something, you know, something that's like a big party but then everything i closed that down. sounds really exciting actually god's will would you yeah. actually mind like sort of like walking me through like what your live event would have looked like if yeah. corona were a thing because i want to hear about that that, yeah, sounds, yeah. that sounds dope in fact actually like uh you know i still want to do it like like once things open up again i think i really do want to try to do this event but i i was planning on trying to do like a a party where uh we go on a boat you know like we get a charter boat to like an island and on the island, we can party. Uh, and I have to like refine the idea a lot more. But I was mm-hmm. thinking like, let's get a charter boat. We can party on the boat, go on to an island, party on the island, and then come back. And it's like a whole thing, like where we have like music, of course, we have performances, oh, yeah. food. Uh, we're doing the nines because this is like such a big, crucial moment. Um, that maybe sounds, if, that sounds awesome. Maybe if Wano ends and the world's open maybe that could be a thing i don't know although then again we don't know how wana's gonna end um but i want to do like a physical event and like mm-hmm. i was planning to do it like with the one piece podcast to get cosplayers to get all different types of just everything and make it like a pirate spectacle um mm-hmm. but uh, you know pirate themed but then for sure you're like 75 percent one piece like where like if you if you didn't mm-hmm. know about one piece you can still have fun with the pirate stuff but you know you're there for the one piece you're there for yeah. um any like it's gonna feel like a one piece flavored party for sure you know like anything you see is just like one piece with some pirate stuff so but the world's closed down unfortunately right so, so now we are now we're here and we're trying to make the best out of the situation um and, if, and in fact actually i was thinking like oh maybe this can't happen maybe this can't happen but i got really lucky to have found you and you were absolutely crucial in making this thing happen where um, just the organization of it all, uh, introducing me to many great team members, uh, the total coordination of it, like where like it, like it, I really felt like it wasn't just on me. It really felt like a very shared effort. Uh, and I guess, yeah, I guess like how was your perspective of the event? Like how was it for you like, like actually like going through the planning aspect of it, the um, the actual execution of it, you know, like just how was it? For mm-hmm. you? I thought like, so like, I'm sort of used to like, so sort of these, uh, these projects, I like, I like the flow of them. I think they're interesting. Like whoever like heads them or is always like, in, usually an interesting character. I think you're a pretty interesting character, God's will. Y- yeah, but like, uh, so like you you basically uh, brought me in with like the podcast Jill like uh, Chico um, and, like Sam and like they, they were all very uh, very interesting they liked One Piece they were like you know really really gung ho and like I thought that was awesome I lo- you know I loved loved it and like uh, you know I just come off of uh, you know a, like a couple of, like other you know personal projects but like the last One Piece thing I had done was Passive the Evie card was, yeah let's was, talk about that too I was like uh, or I, I guess was, like after the event yeah. yeah. I was a little, a little, little, little tired, tired, tired from that, um, just because it was, it was a big project. But uh, so when you added me into it, you, you basically had this like you know uh, rough idea as to what you wanted, and you were just, you were just like so hyped for the one thousandth chapter. And like me being the tired boy that I was, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot one, one thousand chapter. We should, we have to do something on the, um, you know, 
in like from i guess like the american side or like do what we can to make a little little bit of like a a little bit of fireworks i guess yeah like, like some little, popper yeah, like if we can't yeah. do the fireworks unfortunately let's do some poppers or something yeah right? like you know just 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 a li- little something just a little sum sum and uh that sort of like you know made me go back into my sort of like um sort of super organized wor- worker worker mode like basically you know uh so my focus shifted from like sort of you know getting you uh getting you to like uh tell me all your great you know cool ideas basically you know having me just write down all the things and get things you know lined up because you had all these super cool like awesome ideas for the show and i was like this is gonna be awesome people would love this and i really wanted to like make it happen and we kept we came up you know up upon deadline 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 and things got tighter and then um so like when actually doing the event like uh you know that's when things got sort of like you know more crunchy but they got more fun at the same time because like brought, we brought john in we got like sam in and uh we we made it ha- happen on like short base kind of short notice because we really? had all the planning because we had like uh, all the planning done like um for uh the event you know you know spread out months and like weeks apart but like actually doing the work and like you know finally nailing it down we had to serve uh compress all the event you know sort of the event planning within like you know maybe like two 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 one or two weeks or yeah so. like a few yeah. weeks yeah it was yeah, very like, tight but we and, did you know, uh it was fun it was good it was good stuff man i'm blessed that like you were on that because like i i definitely couldn't have done it myself i, I don't have the organizational skills <laughs> I, uh, like i wish i like well you know like i guess like i'm sort of like i like thinking of myself like sort of like a Luffy Frankie type of guy that's just like let's just go and we'll figure it out along the way uh <laughs> but you know you on the team like made it where it was like okay I'm not freaking dying the whole time you know to to make this happen and like one thing I had mentioned beforehand um before like the podcast started um like as you were you were super crucial for it in multiple ways and in fact if it wasn't for you i'm not sure the event could have happened because i think after like the the january 6th um capital raid i think i just felt like really bummed i don't know like what happened like where like it just uh, that event i think hit me more than like i expected it to but i just remember just feeling depressed and i'm not usually like a depressed type of guy but like it, it i was just like i don't want to do anything you know like work wasn't really like hitting even though like, I love my job um this event I was just like maybe I, I was thinking about like actually like pushing it but I was like no we gotta do we gotta do we gotta do um what else and yeah I just felt like down for like a while like I, I don't know like but like I, I really don't know like what to attribute it to but like if it wasn't for you I, I don't know if the event would have happened because I was just feeling down out of energy and I was just like oh, I don't know if this can happen I don't know if like I felt like also like all these doubts like just coming up you know like oh like will these influencers come through these celebrities come through will mm-hmm. we have the 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 guidelines ahead you know of time will we have everything that's necessary to make it happen I had a lot of doubts but you like really like came up with solutions like really made it happen and you know Thank you, thank you so much for. You're welcome. It was it was a it was a pleasure. It, and the event like was so wonderful. Like like the whole time. Like like uh, like the idea. Like in fact, actually, like, I would love to talk about uh, the AI dungeon idea. Like how like how did you come up with that idea? So my friends were like one day we're like Dave, do you want to like play some AI dungeon? I'm like, what's that? And uh, it's basically like this super robust like AI where you. Uh, put in like you know very complex inputs and the story sort of spits back a story back at you uh. so you can play that with multiple people and it's sort of like make your own, it's sort of like a make your own adventure uh sort of deal and it um it's a very very strong robust ai and uh, i like it i like it a whole lot and i thought this was, would be super wacky if we like basically fed it some pre pre-made uh you know pirate related like inputs to set up the world and let you know people who had no idea what AI dungeon was just try to figure it out because like <laughs> that was part of the fun for my friend group so I figured hey that would be pretty engaging for like a you know a bunch of randos but yeah no that was I, um crazy because I'm not exactly sure like how well um those YouTubers like had known each other before they did it you know so it was mm-hmm. Mother's Basement Super High Patch Wolf and Totally Not Mark uh like having to go through the ai dungeon and 
it, it cracked me up like what they had to go through i think they did a wonderful job um oh, yeah making it but i think also like they had just like really met like 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 they, i think they known each other but they hadn't like really like bonded uh <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like they're all that. in the same kind of circle they make the series they all they're all content creators but mm -hmm. like i talked to like you know one of my clients who does uh one piece videos and like they don't do a lot of collaboration on the grounds of like you know time zones mm. it's, you know they had like their own set schedule for uploading that so they're sense. like they're like busy doing their own thing and collaborations are like kind of sort of difficult uh for them but uh you know i did notice uh that um for example a uh, grand line review uh, mm -hmm. i do i do editing for his pokemon channel and mm -hmm. like new world review mm -hmm. he uh he did do a collaboration with Kimmy D, which I thought was cool. Hey, so like, you know, I'm happy uh, that, to hear that. Cause that was cool. They, they, uh, they were, in fact, I, I thank those guys a lot, uh, Grand Line Reviews and um, Kimmy, because we were supposed to have like a lot more people for like yeah. that last event that was supposed to happen. That last event was supposed to be um, the world top world world top 100, world top 100 yeah debate wars or something like that. Yeah, yeah, the wars. And I think that was a brilliant idea, but unfortunately, because like, I think, like everyone was like getting tired, like a lot more people yeah. left uh, than like what we expected. But um, that was a brilliant idea too that you came up with where uh, as like for people who don't know, um, like during January and February, the base, like the, you know, the headquarters of One Piece, um, Shueisha, was it Shueisha? I, I, I guess like like, I don't know who who's in charge of the. Uh, I don't know. It was supposed the, to be a global popularity contest. Yeah, a global popularity contest. Like where you can vote for pretty much any One Piece character. Mm -hmm. So out of the hundreds of hundreds of characters, you can vote for any of them. Uh, and the idea was to have uh, these influencers, these creator content creators, uh, pick a character and debate that character on why we should vote for that character. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was Kimmy and. Grand Line Review, like who yeah. had, we had <laughs> yeah, we, we had like we had set up like a lot of like you know visuals for the stream, and that we were ready to have like a bunch of people like be ready, and we had like done you know I I put a lot of work with John to like make this like visually appealing because it was the last event, mm -hmm. but no one showed up. <sighs> Yeah, that was but tough. like, except for Grand Line Review and uh, Kimmy D, and God bless him, it was a blast. It was great. It was, it was, it was a fun time. It was a wonderful time where I even ended up voting for Whoop Slap because <laughs> uh, this random, well, not random anymore, I guess, but technically random. No, he's not random. Uh, this char super Whoop side slap. character that you see every now and then, you know, but you don't really think about him. Uh, Grand Line Review. I think about Whoop Slap. I mean, I think about him now. <laughs> every time I close my eyes, I can see his face. Like, uh, that newspaper the hat <laughs> he like like made the like the best case for him um it was a wonderful blast like where uh I, it was lots of fun to see these content creators that hadn't interacted before really interact throughout the whole event uh and mm -hmm. really just geek out about one piece um and i think like my favorite aspect or my favorite because like i loved all these aspects but my favorite part was just sort of listening to all these creators talk uh like in that second that second bit um where it was just like a round table interview about what is their favorite yada yada right their favorite arc mm -hmm. their favorite characters um you know what got them into one piece uh and it was very endearing and then we just went to the music and then the music you know like made everyone get goosebumps and everybody mm -hmm. emotional and you organized the music too like um yeah like um, yeah tell us about that yeah so like what we did uh and the the uh whole show is like uh, available to watch on that's dope entertainment it's on the channel you can you can check it out skip to the music parts so what we did there which i thought was really cool because like we structured the event with some pre-recorded parts uh so we were switching like uh you know, sources of uh, video uh, between like uh, the games, the, you know, live parts, and then to like pre-recorded video in a VLC player. So that way we could, uh, you know, switch games with a little bit more like smoothness mm -hmm. things. Uh, we were giving ourselves like time. So we wouldn't have to like switch, you know, things on camera all the time. We had to do a little bit of that, but uh, we were able to, you know, give ourselves enough time to like, you know, get all the guests sort of organized because while we played like a, you know, a 10, 15, 10, 15 minute video, of uh you know credits and like you know other like other things and you know musical showcases 
we uh, could, you know, talk to our guests and get everyone organized behind the scenes. And I thought um, that was just like a cool way to do things. We really treat it like sort of like a real, like, you know, live event, like with- uh, You are a true producer. Brilliant producer. Like, I mean- Thank you. Like, I was really nervous about it, but you handled it so well. You know, I'm in California, you're on the East Coast and handled it so well, like where I don't think people, other people would have really realized that this was remote producing for like this whole show. Um, and we even had guests from all over the world. We had mm-hmm. Irish people, mm-hmm. uh, we had Australian people, uh, and yeah, everyone like in America and or even Canada and brilliant like i don't there wasn't like any technical problems really like it was really well done like like the only technical like challenges were like me not being able to like move a mouse at one point and and, like you know maybe like moving like a screen around and maybe like sound at the very beginning but Mm. after that that was like done and like this is the first time you know any of us have done like an event like this so i'd say pretty good and i think it could be like a model for like future events that you do in the future oh yeah like in fact actually i do really want to i i want to figure out like what could be like a good idea for like the next time because like Mm -hmm. it was like such a brilliant thing we had um a lot of guests like so for people we didn't like i didn't super explain like what the whole thing was but we did it for charity because one i wanted one piece fandom to be like hey this is like a very popular thing like a very beneficial and good thing you know um where it was trying to showcase especially like in the dark time in the world that Mm -hmm. like through anime we can like really like do good things um so we did like as a charity aspect uh we were raising money for direct relief um which is like a really high rated charity um that like a lot of transparency sites were like, this is like the most transparent and they use their finances correctly. Um, you know, like I chose them and I wanted to do it. So that way, like the fandom can be a positive beacon, but then also um, a little bit extra that like, I hadn't said too much outside or at least on camera before was I, I wanted to do outside of these companies because, um, you know, I like the companies. In fact, I belong to quite a few of them, you know, like came from Funimation, work at viz um and have connections to like a lot of different um a lot of different industry side but i want to do outside of that i want to be a a true fan run event uh because the fans like the businesses shut it down yeah like unfortunately so especially like like that week uh i was really nervous that like we could get shut down because uh there was rumors that like the the top headquarters for for One Piece and the mangas and such were giving DMCA copyright strikes against uh, anybody that was using any property, you know, like manga panels. Uh, but it was, it, was, it was a hoax. It was a yeah, hoax. It was a complete hoax. hoax. But still, you know, that's that's a fearsome thing. Um, and I wanted to just sort of avoid all that. I wanted to avoid uh, any bureaucracy. Uh, any dra- potential drama that could happen. So let's just do it as fans. Let's just have a good time and showcase that uh, One Piece fans can be really good individuals, you know. And we raised four thousand two hundred dollars for that's, for charity. That's ama- that, that was amazing. I thought, you know, pretty good. Like that's that's pretty good. I'm really happy about that. Like it, 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 it was a huge moment because uh, also I never like had raised that much money, especially as a live stream event i don't stream i'm trying to stream more i need to start doing that actually <laughs> but um it was it was a wonderful time like where like i was tired you know but like it was because i was so excited and i was like literally geeking out the whole time in fact actually i'm glad that like the camera wasn't on me like a few times because like i got misty eyed you know like behind yeah, the no scenes one, no was... one would have wanted want, want to see that maybe <laughs> Just, maybe, uh... maybe if we you know turned on your camera a couple times during it, like, we could... <laughs> I'm we, glad we, not. We had the power to do so. I we was glued. I was so. glued to like, especially like during the AI dungeon. I was cracking up. That's why, like, I, I muted myself just in case. Uh, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was um, like, the camera was to come back on me. I was, I was like, this is so nutty. And it, it, it was like, wow, it's the Power Rangers meeting up with uh, freaking Turtles. guys. It's just big crossovers that like i never really thought of what happened happening for like really good purposes um Mm -hmm. the jeopardy the one piece podcast did the jeopardy show uh and that was really hard i honestly didn't know many of the answers 
uh what else uh, so like there's the ai dungeon the round table uh we had our our break with the music mm-hmm. yeah, uh, tony's music tyler's yeah. music Whew. great stuff um yeah, the music actually got me misty eyed for sure. Like I was music like, oh, big sake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where we had covers from Tony Waldman uh, and the, the ska. Ska music was so good. Oh yeah, my gosh. Like Tyler uh, Samsonis um, does a fantastic job with uh, you know his ska covers. He just released Believe on his channel. Yes, uh, I need to actually watch that. Like he he yeah. had mentioned it, and I, I'm waiting I for Gong. It. Like he's told me he told me about Gong like a, like you know this past summer, and Ooh. like that's I'm really excited for Gong because I like Gong. And I want to hear it in ska. Okay, okay. I yeah. definitely, I definitely, I'm gonna have to showcase. I'm gonna post uh where people can watch these musical acts and also the whole show in the mm-hmm. podcast. Um, and then uh, we did the One Piece Jeopardy show, and then. We finished out with the World Top 100 debates. Great event. It was seven, seven, eight hours, and just it was like long. all gas, no breaks, really. Just go, go, go. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, yeah. No, me and John had like gone up like you know like around ten ten o'clock. We had Ooh, met 10 up around 10, right? 10, 10 a.m. Yeah, and uh, we are uh, you know we were getting set up, and he's like he's a good setup in his house where it was like you know couch you know, a couple monitors, like all, you know, the keyboard. And then we could watch the entire, like, you know, stream and stuff like on like this big, like, you know, giant, L, you know, fancy t- TV. Hey. So like uh, when things were going wrong, I was like frantically pointing like, John, how do we <laughs> fix this? Uh, how do we, or like, how do we fix this before we go, before we go live? Or like, uh, how do, um, or like, you know, like, John, can we make this go here? Or like, uh, or like, you know, for example, AI Dungeon was me like, you know, pointing at the screen, like, I'm so I, I I'm sorry. I thought the filter was enough. <laughs> like um, fixing it on the fly. It, yeah, like you, no, we, did, we didn't fi- we we didn't fix that part. But man, you guys did so wonderfully. Like um, because also I have worked with other people in the past, but sometimes like I feel like they never like asked the right questions or like it was just sort of like focused like on the wrong thing. You, I think you always asked the right questions. Like you had like the right attention. I was glad that you were like, hey, can we meet up again to just test out such and such? And I was like, oh, this is, this is exactly. And then like, it's a producing, like I got to focus like 100% on hosting. uh, And I never felt like the fear of like, oh man, what's going to happen? It was like, okay, Dave and John, they got this. And I'm not even in the same room with them. And they, they took care of it. You guys took such great care of like the whole event that like i never really stressed out um after like once it got started i was like okay all right yeah we're, we're good we're good yeah, and no, uh, like just John even the organization so of like the 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 celebrities and the content creators it was just like okay cool i don't have to stress out about like where such and such is you guys got that man that sometimes, was... we, sometimes we 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 did not have that and that's when i was <laughs> uh like panicking and adding people uh-huh. but uh that that was that you know you could focus on hosting while i could focus on doing that so so it worked out man i'm so grateful that you were on that like seriously like one of the best collaborations uh i had personally done and i'm excited to do a lot more um it fun it would be a lot it would be a lot of fun be yeah blast. yeah because like that whole thing you, you uh you know the whole your whole event was an absolute blast and i think that's like you know, one of, the, one of the things that, you know, made me energized because I was feeling exhausted, like, you know, around the same time you were, but like, you know, this, this project made me energized, made me, made me like feel like re- rejuvenated. So like, same. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that. that thank was, you. Know, yeah. Thank the you. Opportunity. Man, no, I definitely, I can't wait to, to do it again. Um, I don't know what the next idea is going to be yet, but the yeah. ideas will come. So, and there's so much that we can possibly do uh just got to figure out what what to do um yeah. but then also yeah i did want to talk to you about like uh, the past of Viva card where the all, I love yeah, that. that was your I love that. past project yeah yeah like um so where do i start with past the Viva card? i know it's, right it, it, was, <laughs> it was it it was it was cool it was cool i like it a lot i have you know a lot of thoughts on the projects i love it it was like it was a blast to, it was a blast to make um so if I don't know if you remember, like past the brush challenge was really popular, oh, like yeah. towards the summertime of quarantine, because uh, it was a makeup challenge where someone would, it would be like, you know, brush, you know, them without makeup, cover it, they suddenly have makeup, and then they would pass it in a creative way. Mm-hmm. And like, uh, that was, that was cool. It was a makeup TikTok trend. Mm. And, uh, 
you know, my, my, I myself was not like, you know, super into TikTok. I didn't even have a TikTok at, at that time, but like, um, it was cool. But so like a lot of the cosplayers were doing the same thing. Cause like, it, it, you know, makeup cosplay, very like sort of intimately like uh, related with, with, with each other. So that was cool. I was, uh, you know, about to graduate. I was focusing for an exercise physiology exam and I was, I wasn't really thinking about anything. And uh, I was suddenly added to like this uh, Instagram group because, you know, I do some cosplay and like people sometimes will make cosplay groups for like things. Everyone was making their own little pass the brush challenge for like Naruto, Demon Slayer, whatever was popular at the time. They mm -hmm. would like do their own pass the brush challenge or like some iteration like pass the Pokeball or something. Mm. But uh, I was added to a group where people wanted to like do a big uh, one piece uh one piece um past the brush challenge and i think i've actually i'm gonna bring the schedule up to like m on my computer uh -huh. uh, wh while i uh have it up but it was it was cool because like you know i don't you know sometimes you get added to like um group chats without context but this time i was actually you know just given the lowdown because the pe these people were very cooperative and i was like oh cool i'm i'm graduating right now not and i was not really engaged with what was happening in the group chat because i was focused on you yeah. know doing school stuff You're right finishing but up like, real world stuff but yeah. like, they want to do this thing called pass the uh pass the devil fruit mm. and i was like that's cool that's cute and i was like you know that's really cool because like the devil fruit prop this like two people had looked really good but okay like, two people had yeah it's like who has prop. devil fruit models or whatever right yeah i didn't i didn't i wasn't like oh that's dumb terrible but i was mm -hmm. like I was, so like you know in passing you know uh came into the chat I was like hey guys what if you passed a vivre card because like uh... everyone has a piece of paper and like because we're one piece fans it has like sentiment sentimental like you know meaning to us like uh and um you know, also like, for people who don't know what a vivre card is i mean probably a lot of people but like um it is a piece of paper that shows you like where like if you could tear it in half or tear it in bits and it will try to come back together so individual people like have it and it'll show you like where the person you tore it in half with is across the world just like the direction that they're supposed to be uh and mm -hmm. if it if that person does die then it burns up too right so yeah, i'll i'll i'll, I'll um get back to like a little bit more about v-ray cards because mm -hmm. they are a really cool part of the one piece universe mm -hmm. So like after like, you know, ad adding that to the, um, you know, group chat, I focused on graduating like for the most part, but, uh, you know, a little bit before, before I, I graduated, I, I, um, said, Hey guys, we have like 70 people now, like this is pretty big. And, you know, I was thinking in my head, cause I, I was, you know, no one wants to focus only on schoolwork. So mm -hmm. I was, I was like, guys, this is going to be really long. Cause like, imagine like you know 20 people just passing like a thing and then like each clip's like 30 seconds if you have mm -hmm. 70 people it's gonna be forever and no one wants wants to watch that and like i didn't i think people really wanted a video that was that so like when i made past the beaver card maybe it's like two people were like man i wish we could just like you know have one person on screen but that, that that's fine but, but hmm. what whatever it's a different type of video because i um but uh i was like guys does anyone want to edit this? Because I had I had an idea in my head. I was like, wait a minute, what if we make this as big as possible and make this just like a video collage instead? Rather than like, you know, focus on passing like a brush style transformation, we can do something a little bit more artsy. And I had, you know, just come off of watching Baby Driver for the fourth time. Hey. And uh, I really like Edgar Wright's, you know, editing to the music. And I wanted to like emulate that in some way. So I was like, guys, I, I would love to edit this. Um, let me... Let me do this and then um let me you know make and i explicitly said guys let me make this my baby we're gonna make this past the v-ray card and so after i graduated i basically made a road map of like what i was going to you know do and i can go uh, through that like in just just a moment but uh basically i you know was i started off by making like this um because i wanted i wanted to have like everybody in the world uh do this but like i i only speak english so i tried um so like uh, we got like a young uh, you know, Japanese student named Fumi to like uh, sort of translate for us. Uh, not so much translate, but they wanted to be on the project and they got us a whole bunch of like, you know, Japanese cosplayers, like 74 or something, like Japanese cosplayers. It was nicely packaged and organized for me as the editor. Loved that. And uh, wow. what, uh, what I did, I made this first like beaver card video, which was a call to action sort of uh, video where I was like, hey, uh, hey guys, this is what passive viewer card is all about. This is my intention. I'm going to release it, you know, this week. 
and but I need people to like do this and this is the reason and like um the Viva, the whole point of pass the Vivre card was to uh you know show uh because like a Viva, if you receive a Vivre card that means like I care about you if I you know if I give you a piece of my Vivre card that means I want to see you again mm -hmm. and like if you receive your own Vivre card from like say if Ace gives Luffy his very own Vivre card that means he loves him so it's a way of like passing on love and showing like you know um you know friendship and all, all that all that good stuff like that's the point of a Vivre card like the Japanese loved it and uh I, I think friend, it was like uh, perfect timing too. Like it, like just mm -hmm. that sentiment during the quarantine where like none of us knew really what was going to happen, but we all wanted to be connected to each other. I, mm -hmm. I, I felt that immediately. Like I understood that symbolism. I was like, oh, my chest yeah, this is it's, great. It's, it was it was pretty great. I had one of my friends like you know translate what I said in English into rough Japanese, so then I could uh, take that rough Japanese to Fumi who like could read Japanese and they fixed it up with like, you know, grammar errors and stuff like that. So I could have that video call action video have subtitles for the, Jap for, like, Ooh, the Japanese nice. viewers. And uh, that was passed around, um, you know, just sort of Japanese Twitter for, uh, for a bit. So, and that resulted in some really great videos um, when they were sent back to me. So I was like, wow, I have so much footage. And, uh, you know, I had a deadline for when footage uh, was supposed to come in and uh, like a really set roadmap, but due to some things happening, you know, some people, you know, uh, gave me the heads up and said, hey, uh, can I uh, give you this footage like this time? And uh, like, for example, someone with like a Perona was like, hey, can I give you this footage? Like, you know, a little bit later. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I'm working on like Skype here right now. <laughs> so what I did for the video was I organized it by arc and I can, you know, show you a picture some other time of like, you know, the spreadsheet of like everyone's name, 210 people's names organized by color, each color representing a different arc. And, uh, Oh, check, mark, check marks and check marks. I almost got everybody into the video. I did forget a VV and a uh, like um, Cavendish because uh -huh. like, uh, you know, what I, I put them in the final, I have a final version, okay, but like cool, they're, cool. They're, they're in that. But uh, you know how when you're filling something out and you, uh, you're you about to do it, so you put the check mark there, but then you forget to do it. That, uh, that was yeah, yeah. I, uh -huh. I messed up. I felt, I felt bad about it, but- um, I mean, that's I a lot of organization, I, I 210, so. 208 people. That's pretty yeah. good, but still. <laughs> Alabasta, Alabasta and um, Dress Rosa were the most filled up like parts of the video. Like, wow. Uh, <laughs> Dress Rosa especially. Dress Rosa is a, is a mess. There's so um, many characters, I bet, through Dress yeah. Rosa only, right? Oh, yeah. No, like uh, Dress Rosa, just like the Dress Rosa arc, how I feel about the Dress Rosa arc. A little bit, me little bit messy. But uh, basically, it was the roadmap I'm looking at right now was mm -hmm. um, I needed, I wanted to release it on on like the 21st of May. But uh, so on the May 6th, I was, you know, looking for uh, music search, it was music searching, and I was reaching out to like different cosplayers. May 7th, I... Um, did PNG uh, cropping and like storyboarding and like it eventually got to the point where I was like wait a minute I I'm just gonna wing it because all this organization was like good like <laughs> uh, I got all like you know the backgrounds I needed but like I ended up you know just doing it as I went along anyway so like I did have pretty good organization but like as soon as I started making the video it became like okay, everyone's sorted by art all the footage is all sorted now mm -hmm. uh, from like the late entrance I'm just gonna kind of, kind of like edit as I go, and um, that was and like that worked out better because I don't think I could have like made things go with the music as well if I was you know so obsessed about playing it ahead of time. Yeah, like, yeah. And, like not everything synced to the music. I really just have like those occasional like Edgar Wright style pop offs here and there, but it still looked pretty. It still looked cool. It still I mean, that's what's cool. that? Yeah, I mean, I remember like I I need to watch it again because it's been a while, but like I do remember it just like hitting it. I was just like, here we go, you know, like I. I yeah. like also that you had Baby Driver like as like the inspiration. I I oh, yeah. I'm sort of yeah. hoping more things like hit like Baby Driver beats like that. Yeah, no, like uh, that like I love I love that film. It's it's really cool. I don't I'm not I'm not like uh, big on like I don't understand music like a lot of people, but I mm -hmm. think it's I think music's neat. I like it a whole lot. That's dope. But uh, and like I remember on the when I was working on the project, um, this is an interesting thing if you're working with like uh, Japanese individuals, uh, you know, to not like you know. Do things that violate copyright laws mm -hmm. because that would drive people away um i like one of the like socially like, or like you well, mean I, I don't i don't i don't really know i think it's just like a like a taboo just gotcha you know, you know a law thing okay but um i remember like uh, i was i was encouraging people to like you know make their own passive the card videos while mm -hmm. i worked on the big thing but a lot most people were just kind of 
waiting for me to release the big one. There's <laughs> yeah. like a couple people like released theirs and I thought they were great because uh -huh. the because the whole point of passive viewer card was to get people talking to each other and everyone had already made their footage. So at that point it was plug and play. Mm -hmm. So they could just, you know, say, hey, you made this thing for this video. Wanna make your own video? Mm -hmm. And like that's why we wanted people to do. Some people did that. Some people, you know, a lot of people didn't. Mm. it's 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 fine um, yeah because I, I mean I, yours like is killer like yeah i wish i wish people like made more uh passive viewer card videos leading up to it but yeah because like, that was the intention i had uh, but okay. like uh no like um it still still, work, still worked out very very well but uh back to the copyright things and uh one of them had used like the official version of we go oh. and uh i showed that as like an example and mm -hmm. they were like oh you know, we don't we want that I'm like oh don't worry i'm not going to use that in the official like the like the final video because mm -hmm. um like one of one of someone someone had told me that uh, someone had told me that like hey it's totally fine to use the uh, official version I got permission and I said that because uh, they no I don't want to do that not because I you know thought I you know I thought they were lying mm -hmm. in hindsight obviously a lie but like um, what I, what I did was uh, I was like no I want to do you know this music I don't want to use like this cover or something it's metal I don't vibe with metal as much I want to ska mm -hmm. I really want to do ska because I had found my friend Tyler's music uh he does like all these great one piece ska covers ah. and um I was really adamant about like using doing something that I cared about because like if I'm gonna listen to like a, like music for like a bajillion times while I'm editing, editing <laughs> you want video. something that you want to listen to right something that I vibe to yeah yeah and, like I love I love ska like um I want you know, ska to come back I like ska ska isn't dead ska I isn't understand dead. <laughs> good because I'll just feel like why why do people want to kill it like I think ska is pretty neat yeah, oh I, mean, well. I love I love I love you know I, I really I really vibe with it ever since I saw the Digimon movie <laughs> really yeah like a lot of soundtrack high five ska. boom <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah like I think that's sort of what got me into ska along with like um mm -hmm. I remember like some Cartoon Network uh cart uh commercial things like the Jabberjaw uh like they had like ska music for like a Jabberjaw commercial like I still listen to that um mm -hmm. and the 90s were just popping with ska yeah. so Oh, like I am. I'll try to break this. Break this. Like it is. It, it, this is long. I am trying to break this down as uh, like. Oh, you're you know, good. You're well, good. Well, as well as possible. Uh -huh, like, you're uh, good. But we. I you know. So I was editing to the ska music. I was. This was a passion project for me. So I really wanted to edit the ska music. I cared about the V-Ray card, and like I had a really nice interaction with cosplayers because like you know in addition, in addition to actually editing it, I had, you know talked to cosplayers about joining in. Um, I asked for specific like things from certain cosplayers. I was like, hey, you you know. I really want to do this transition. I need, instead of doing the past thing like everybody else, could you also film like a little bit of stock footage for me? Like uh, for example, Whitebeard, you know, posing or Tashigi, for example, like, you know, instead of like doing a pass, I just say, hey, instead, could you like swing your sword so I can uh, use your sword as a transition? Right. And like, you know, you know, stuff like that uh -huh. where, I, where I told people, hey, could you please uh, do this? And like, mind you, I'm, I'm taking like mostly vertical, like vertical footage from like phones, which oh, is yeah, like very, yeah. all very variable in quality where people will sometimes be on the, on camera super long, you know, more than I wanted, <laughs> or, uh, or, but like, that's fine. Cause like, cause they, they, no one knew what type of video I was making. Yeah. People thought I was just doing a pass the brush video. Mm -hmm. So everyone made, you know, made their video for the most part with their, you know, them in the, getting their spotlight in mind. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't care. I wanted to make something cool. I was, I was, a, I was a bad friend. I was like, no, I want, like, I wanted to try uh, cut up by cameos, and like that's what everybody kind of got. Like, uh, I thought worked. I thought worked out, and I, that's why I was encouraging people to make their own videos because, uh, like, they would only show up a little bit in this video, but they can um, focus more like on themselves, do a full length if they yeah, really wanted to. Yeah, I, I you know, I, rep I repeated the sentiment, but people were like what's this kid doing because i didn't i only yeah i guess they couldn't people. see your vision because yeah. your vision like is so much more expansive than like the other challenges I want, that yeah i wanted yeah. to be a surprise yeah it was dope i was thoroughly shocked and i was like wow this i i mean like i think i did like tear up actually like watching it because it's just sort of like wow like the the going through it chronologically and then like seeing like the work and like so many different types of people throughout the world join in on this you know like it was beautiful and it came out like at a like a very crucial time like where like i said like we no one knew what was going on in the world you know like yeah, this would be like a, a great time, time. Yeah, yeah like yeah, it, it was it, it, was, was, it was wonderful it was it was, it, was, it, it was it was a lot of fun man and definitely like i'm gonna showcase in fact i do want to like make a clip 
using like parts of oh. the Viva card just to explain. Uh, so yeah. be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, I can. Um, I'll show you I that. Can, I, can send, I can send you that uh, afterwards. But yes, like, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, it, a, it, even. Yeah, definitely. Like, I would love to to talk with you some more about mm -hmm. that. Like, as I make a clip about this, but yeah, it was a beautiful thing, and that that idea really is like what inspired this event too. Like, where it's like, hey, you got people from all over the world. I want to get people from all over the world. I want people from all over the world to enjoy this thing. You know, um, people love One Piece all over the world. Yeah. yeah. It, one piece is crucial like it's only in america that it got messed up we were talking about this a little bit beforehand um mm -hmm. like where it's a bummer that like it got messed up in america but like i'm hoping that like one piece um fandom like is starting to grow like once again in america like because you know everyone knows about the or not everyone but, like a lot of people know about the four kids version you know that we mm -hmm. all watch back on saturday morning cartoons but it was heavily censored right um did you watch four kids i did i did right, cool, i like cool, i watched cool. uh to, um i'd watch team nt i would watch like Yu Gi Oh. yeah i watched yeah. magical do Re me <laughs> i didn't watch that i was i i usually went back to wb kids <laughs> when that one came on yeah, uh, i had these butt rabbit ear antenna where i had to like adjust it so like a lot of times when i was watching tv i had to like stand there and hold <laughs> you did so oh it, no it was, it was it was not fun so i would get bits and pieces sometimes oh but, like, man uh, that channel like the uh, what i think it was 24 i don't remember it was channel 27 for me like living yeah. in dallas <laughs> and, like uh, i had to hold it so like um you know i i had to cherish what i got but i got man. some good stuff i got justice league i got justice league on, nice, uh, kids, nice. kids wb which is great uh, hey spectacular spider-man good was, stuff yeah good shows honestly like i that's yeah. something where i feel bad for kids today I, like i wish that they had a little bit more of that struggle of you know like mm -hmm. one you don't have cable or you don't have the internet two um you know you watch what was on but luckily like a lot of it that was on was really cool and just sort of weird uh even four kids like uh four kids uh, one piece uh which many people will consider like a bastardization of it i enjoyed it a Gosh. lot <laughs> i mean it is a bastardization i mean like they changed up like this was heavily censored you know like where yeah Sanji, the the smoking chef was always eating a lollipop you know? yeah. <laughs> with his you weird to, to yeah you, boston you to, like, stuff the, nose accent <laughs> yeah that, that, that was that was i thought it was funny i thought it was funny yeah. too like uh, and like even today like i was like that was funny but i'm glad that that's not mm -hmm. what it is yeah, this was also during the time when like like um four like four kids um I th was tsunami was tsunami around tsunami like was on yeah but, like this is when uh like you know like uh you know very select channels and companies were like gatekeeping what anime people were watching mm -hmm. before like the fan sub the fan subbers came in and, like saved us so yeah like, we could watch oh more goodness. anime. Yeah, I'm but, glad uh, that we you know, moved one piece past. never got like you know uh got to the point where Naruto did because because I feel because of uh you know um yeah that censorship what, what happened but um and like until until boruto came out i i genuinely thought like um naruto had more staying power than than one piece just because <laughs> of how popular it was in the west but yeah Nar but boruto's legacy uh, boruto this you know is really hurting that legacy so one piece is time to slide on in i mean and, this uh, is exactly the time you know like all the big three are gone except for one piece um one piece you know like of course there's like new anime that people can join in Jujutsu Kaisen or My Hero or whatever uh but One Piece is still a classic that I would say is mm -hmm. getting better is is actually like getting better the more it goes on I mean Wano yeah. arc like like these 900s that we're on right now or the 1000s in the manga mm -hmm. mwah, mwah, mwah. I mean like I would say like the I'm anime has come back to form actually like Wano uh like this act three have yeah, you do you watch the anime what, oh, what's, ha what's happening what's happening no I'm watching it. I'm like like we're getting sakuya moments every single episode. every i'm like yes this is exactly what yeah, we were like, hoping it, for it, you know, it makes sense like why people love one piece like um so i was I, I i made i make some mean comments about the anime a lot i mean lot. i did too honestly i, I think i did i can't say i can't say shit now because i look like I look like a big look like a big dummy <laughs> you like, know uh, i mean definitely like i'm like yes one piece anime is back I, yeah. I in fact i would say like because before i was an anime only watcher and mm -hmm. then you know started doing the manga and like i would say definitely do both if you can but um mm -hmm. you know the anime like 960 
something and it is fantastic like in fact this mm-hmm. whole last week i felt sad that there wasn't a new episode i'm like oh i need another episode oh this break is killing me <laughs> um but i did want to ask you like i guess like how did you get into one piece and like why is one piece like one of your favorites um gotcha yeah i mean well, especially since sort of, we, we, sort of ta- like we talked about back, this whole episode right <laughs> yeah i guess like connecting it back to past the baby card very quickly before i wrap, wrap that one yeah, up. yeah for sure for sure the uh so like you know past the baby card really shows that there were so many one piece fans who just like had this like sort of deep deep love of like one piece and i think that's great um and the passion project i feel the passion my my fiery heart hot youthful passion uh, shines through that video and like i'm glad like people got to see it i'm glad it sort of blew up like sort of blew up i will be reshilling the uh revised version you know sometime before this uh episode airs and Ooh. trying to you know figure out a good way to like market it because it's Ooh. already released I'm i'll definitely be to... pushing it too as soon as you put yeah, it out i, I, I to, will help it's push all, it. it's already out i just gotta figure out like how to like you know get people to like re-watch it revisit it because i gotta yeah. be careful about timing these things with like what's Smart. happening in the world Smart. Like, I'm glad, you know, people, you know, loved it. People would, you know, a lot of the, for example, a lot of the uh, Japanese cosplayers really express like a deep love of like the video, like something like, cause, like, I know, like, I'm not, I'm not like shitting on the like other cosplays I talked to, but like, um, you know, they, uh, were, they would like sort of, you know, when I talked to them, like, this was, might have been like a, you know, a communication miscommunication between us just because like you know games of telephone because it was pat the pat v for covers past word of mouth mm. and like a lot of times i get i would get talked to by like these cosplayers like i was just the editor i'm like no man i'm just i i just like one piece and i'm like making this video but uh i never i never found out with like the japanese cosplayers i think that was because like i talked to uh fumi so much i was mm-hmm. like uh fumi like um you know this is uh, my uh how i feel about the video this is um uh, you know the point of the video and they they got that they were like yes uh and uh they helped convey like my emotions to like the uh japanese speaking like uh participants so like a lot of messages or like you know th- you know things of sentiment i got were like very kind and made me feel good about it like because yeah, i was exhausted after the video i was like out you know out of it i wasn't like you know in the healthiest mindset because i was like tired and sleepy i just wanted to sleep mm-hmm. so i you know i couldn't like you know, figure out what was happening, you know, make, figure out what was happening. I was just like in the days after making the video because it was done. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, um, I really appreciate like, you know, the, some of the Japanese side is saying, oh, D- is Dave all right? He's, he must be tired, <laughs> you know, and I never, I didn't really get too much of that sentiment except for some friends on, uh, on our side of the world. Mm. But, uh, you know, I, you know, that sense of gratitude was like, you know, really nice to see among like other One Piece fans. And, uh, circling back to as to like why i like one piece is like i guess like i started watching one piece on four kids and then mm-hmm. i read Nar- i read some naruto i had watched other anime before that but like i was really into naruto in high school uh, not my high school uh elementary school oh yeah yeah and, like i like i like i like dragon ball a whole lot but i event you know i would read like naruto like in this bookstore and just read it in the bookstore <laughs> yeah in the like, aisles it, uh-huh. I got to a point where I was like, you know, this isn't too good, I, uh, too great for me right now. And I decided to pick up one piece. I was like, wait, this is fire. And I just read all, like a whole bunch of 30 volumes in my school library. <laughs> I was reading a lot of manga. I, I'm, always, I'm a manga boy as, hey. boy as opposed to like anime, it, very in general. Uh-huh. And like I've consumed like an ungodly amount of like content in middle school. And uh, that's when I like I really got into One Piece. I was re- reading it in uh, elementary school, but then I got really into One Piece in middle school. And um no, I just like just snowballed from there. I got into conventions and stuff like that. I started cosplaying, you know, One Piece. I just thought it was a cool thing to do. I guess like yeah, your cosplay. Was... We didn't even talk about your cosplay. Like you, like are a super killer Usopp. <laughs> I was you. like, I, in fact, when I think about Usopp cosplayers, I think about you particularly. I'm like, yes, this is this yeah. is how Usopp is like real good i gotta I'll, I'll showcase a picture of that like in the thumbnail oh that'd be cool yeah uh no like one piece one one piece like you know sort of like just a comfort for me because it's like sort of this long-term friend that i can like you know follow along as i grow up and like come back to to re- sort of revisit like parts of like you know what like for example like when uh when i was watching filler bark not so much uh you know, um you know when it was actually like airing but when mm-hmm. i got around to watching it like i have like you know very different emotions about like how like filler bark like um i i feel differently i remember back my, in high school when i cared about filler bark i mm-hmm. re- sort of remember like 
the type of person I was when I watched Thriller Bark. And I can sort of like use One Piece as like sort of landmarks as to like, uh, like how those I benchmarks. Felt ways. Yeah, wow. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, Just Rosa, that's when I would shit on One Piece because I thought it was cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oh man, the funny thing is, like, as you're saying this, is like I'm feeling it for my own life too. I mean, like, Dress Rosa was like when I was starting to shit on One Piece. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's where I like I went to the manga version. Um, and I was just like, I don't know about the the anime, although I did like it. Uh, Thriller Bark. Mm -hmm. I was in college, and I remember that's when like the training. Like, I was watching it with Chico. Chico is the one who got me into uh watching yeah, one piece really yeah because funny enough like i watched four kids version and i thought i finished mm -hmm. you know i was like i was done whatever i didn't know one piece was still ongoing there, there's more yeah <laughs> i was like I already seen this and then i was like oh wait this is way different than <laughs> i was like where's sanji with the the lollipop and wait i don't remember this scene and wait where did this happen and yeah, i was like what? oh <laughs> Yeah, no, I guess I just, I just vibed with, like, it's a vibe, but also, like, One Piece, like, surprised me, because, like, I had, I had, like, you know, sort of underestimated One Piece, at, like, when I was in elementary school, and um, just because I was like, oh, no, Death, Death Note's the cool thing, oh, like, wow. uh, you know, yeah. uh, Naruto's the cool thing, because mm -hmm. it's ninjas, pirates, pirates yeah, like, whatever. you know, it, this is bad, because it's drawn funny, <laughs> like, uh, but like then I, I gave it a chance and like it subverted my expectations. It made me think about things I didn't really think about. Like, oh yeah, no, maybe because like you know I'm for example I'm adopted, so like uh, Nami's story is like really important to me. I think Nami's like backstory is like you know really amazing. I'm I'm like no not like so when people shit on Nami, I'm like Nami's more than that. Like mm -hmm. I'll shit on Nami too, but like not not for the same reason same yeah, reasons it's I mostly agree. just like making fun making fun of her hair or something uh like really innocuous like that i don't mean it like okay uh, cool 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 okay I yeah don't, nah, I, don't, I like I don't, I don't mean any like anything there's like if i mean I, something there's love yeah like i don't think i hate any particular character really you know and i even like the villains like one piece for me like like oh, the way i always talk about it is like it i've this is my favorite piece of media ever franchise ever like i never had a show that's made me laugh as hard cry as much and change my life as much as one piece you know like literally change my life you know to the factor like where we even did this event right mm -hmm. um and it like just as you're like you're saying it too like it has been a benchmark for my life in many ways like i can it, i can really like even think about like just some big huge moments thanks to one piece particularly uh you know like I, I mean even like this tattoo idea you know like where i got the sun it's pirate tattoo. tattoo it's a good tattoo i love it i have to like i want to get more well, one piece tattoos pretty soon but um like i i remember like that moment for me like was i was talking to an executive and i was like really drunk <laughs> it was like i had a party uh, I, 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 but luckily like the, the funny thing about it was, it was like a, it was a at a party though so it yeah nice. it was at a party i was like it's okay or hopefully it's okay but it was an executive okay. and i was like oh crap but you know like i just fell back on the topic i knew the best about one piece and he was like hey i think i want to get you that tattoo this is before i got the tattoo um i was like i want to get this tattoo because you know fish pirates and some pirates mean so much to me and that's and he was like what does it mean and i just explained one piece to him for like an hour or two and while just like while heavily only drunk. an hour only only i know hours. honestly i want to do more but i was like <laughs> i'm already like taking this guy's time a lot you know but it, it was such a great time that he was like hey i'd be down to buy you this tattoo it, but that sky that snowballed into like a whole nother thing and mm -hmm. you know one piece like has been like, don't get me wrong. I love Naruto. I love Dragon Ball Z. I love oh, so yeah. many different anime series. You know, I have Full Metal Alchemist, um, you know, on my chest, you know. Um, and anime, like, as a whole is great. Video games, TV shows, all that. But personally, One Piece has been, like, just so powerful. And, like, it always makes me mad when people, like, the only people who shit on it are the people who hadn't seen it at all. They're like, ah, oh, it's too long as... 10,000 episodes. I can't have the time. Blah, so, blah, so blah, like, blah. You, know, you mean like, you know, shit on it without like any like constructive criticism. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. the, like people who watch it don't shit on it really. Like, don't get me wrong. There's things that are like, hmm, this could be a lot better. Many things in One Piece, like where like it could be better, like uh, it could be better, you know? 
but yeah, like you know someone's like this is this is dumb or like this is this was a bad character choice or something like that and they mm-hmm. get, you know they complain about how like you know like make, they make a valid point about how they would have wanted it mm-hmm. and it's like that makes sense or like sometimes i'm like well that's not the type of series one piece is yeah like, exactly uh, like some people know, but, complain like oh it's not super super duper gritty mm-hmm. and you know like in some ways it's like yeah but in some ways it's like you're wrong it's like just watch the backstories you know watch the mm-hmm. the conflict you know look at like the subtext underneath you know these guys are yeah. fighting oh no these guys are fighting for indigenous rights oh no mm-hmm. these guys are enslaving people oh you know here's a civil war you know that's about yeah, to happen like, here one piece um, does this thing where it's like hey, uh, it gives you like very surface level, like things that are pretty simple while also giving you a lot of things to think about in the background. And if you want to think about them further, it's, it's you know, you get to like, really, you can, you can, it's it's for you. Yes. But like, if you just want to enjoy One Piece, like as, you know, at level one, mm-hmm. you can in- enjoy that. But then if you want to think more about it, then it has pl- plenty of stuff for you. Now, sometimes I think, you know, people look too deeply into One Piece. <laughs> like, um, I was going to give a bad example. Like, uh-huh. um, like um this is this is this is like i i i like I'll, i call yamato he for example for, oh he, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah mm. because like that's the meta now but like i genuinely do not think like oh that that's oda's intention because of his track record mm-hmm. i think it's i think like he uh he's more kinning odin than uh being like um being trans male but mm. i i'm ho- you know it would be really cool if he was a trans male and i i i you know think that'd be a really cool like uh progression for Oda, Oda yeah Oda's yeah writing uh-huh. but like and like uh i wouldn't be surprised towards the end uh towards the end like they were just kidding oda and mm. uh, oda or kidding odin mm-hmm. but um i i would be super happy and su- uh, surprised to see like um you know some a more trans representation in one piece because one piece does does a okay like i think does a good job because like this type of uh, story it is some could some be like better not, yeah could, be, could better. be better but at the same time it's like it's, hey i had it's never really seen one, it's, it's just one piece yeah yeah exactly and if anything is like i had never really seen like um positive trans trans people you know like in anime or like or really in media really before like i'm wrong it could be a lot better you know than what it is in one piece but at the same time mm-hmm. even cough right like I was yeah. like, oh, even Cobb is super cool and it was trans. Mm-hmm. So, wow, that's crazy. Don't get me wrong, yeah. could be better. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've had conversations with uh, with my friends, uh, like how they like how they feel about Ivan Cobb, and they, you know, it's it's positive. But I'm talking to other One Piece fans. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't know what the perspective is on like you know people who look at that like and don't know anything about One Piece. Yeah, and just see that like representation. Yeah, and, like, they you think know, it might be it's, garish of sorts. It's because like it is an homage to like. Uh, the Rocky, Rocky Horror, Horror uh-huh. Picture Show, and like you know, I don't know, I don't really know how people feel. Uh, like everyone feels about that. It's like some person may be like, "Oh yeah, I love that, love that," and someone else will be like, "Oh, I find that makes me offended uncomfortable or whatever." Or mm-hmm. make, it makes you know, I don't like that representation. Of, uh, I say to anyone who has that feeling, watch it. You're like, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's mm-hmm. like it's like I get the the hesitancy. Like if you just look at it, and it always sort of bumps me out when people like look at One Piece and they're like turned off by like the way it looks is just sort of like is so much more to like actually like go in it you know if you don't like the anime read it and like like really like enjoy like get into one piece you know and you're most likely gonna enjoy it there's only been one person who who like watches one piece and he says he doesn't like it that i know of um but also i think he's capping too because i mean he cosplayed ace and just sort of like okay you hate it but you still watch it you're caught up <laughs> but you don't like it because it's not you know hardcore okay yeah. whatever but yeah I'm, l- I'm less forceful about getting people to watch one piece uh, like i'm like yeah i like one piece and like event like i've noticed that my friends will just pick up one piece without me telling them yeah and uh, a lot of my fr- you know they're like really they get really into one piece but uh they understand i'd say like with any anything like you know if like if someone's like telling you to do something you're less inclined yeah you're less to, like, yeah exactly it. definitely and, I, uh, I try not to push people mm-hmm. to do it like i'm always happy when someone does it and like mm-hmm. i will egg that on but yeah i don't tell mm-hmm. people to go do it because also i don't blame people like like i'm not gonna be like oh a thousand episodes is nothing just do that no mm-hmm. it's a lot but i say like just you know watch enough one piece to make yourself happy if it doesn't make you happy then, then don't do it i say watch one piece all the way <laughs> 
<laughs> like, like, look, I'm not going to be like, you must do it or you're not going to be friends or, you know, like, oh, you know, you must do it. But at the same time, if you if you do it, keep at it. It's so mm -hmm. freaking good. Um, you know, like I loved it from the beginning. Most people, it took about mm -hmm. 50 episodes to like really fall for it. I mean, I, I was sold like pretty much immediately. Um, you know, and the people who say like it, it gets great after, it gets good after 200 episodes or 300 episodes. I'm like, yeah, I think it was great uh, beforehand. But they're, they're, that's just a, that's like more of like a, just a joke to piss off One Piece fans. Yeah. Um, I don't like One Piece because it's drawn funny. So like, I don't bummer. know why we don't know why we're talking God's will. Like, <laughs> no, it's like it's like that's that's another thing. It's like you know I think it looks good and you think it, you know you think it looks bad. That's you know largely you know unimportant like as to what like how good it is. Yes, like, exactly. Like. I think that's a super surface level like where it's like I I would want you to understand like how good of a franchise this is you know the fact that like we did like a whole charity event for it because of how much we love it and, like this whole episode is just be like hey get into one piece we're, we're both wearing one piece shirts yeah, right this is, this is a this is a show one piece podcast i like, mean low-key yeah my right? project <laughs> is about one piece his event about one piece this is a show one piece uh, episode but uh no like when, when i when i like you know consume a series like you know whatever i'm watching like i don't really care like how the animation is or how it's Same. drawn for the most part mm -hmm. um it's it's nice icing on it's you know icing. yes on the i think it's icing. i'm really i'm really just fishing for like you know cool like thematic and story uh, st uh story elements yes. that, that really make me care and think about like uh, the story because like you know yes i can turn my brain off while watching a show but if i turn off my brain how can i enjoy it and like you know think about it later and think about how great it was but well, um because like it also like with one piece is like like you just you suspend your disbelief because also he's gonna have you do that a lot you know like a lot of bizarre like wow this is crazy you know this is a pirate show mm -hmm. but i would say it's like this is so so good like where like the thematic mm -hmm. elements that it has weaved throughout the whole franchise the whole mm -hmm. franchise and has is continuing to weave you know like and mm -hmm. everything is connected it's not like oh this ep happened in episode 50 you don't have to worry about it ever again no it, mm -hmm. it builds up on itself and has made this beautiful tapestry that yeah you didn't even realize i'm getting goosebumps even just talking about yeah, it right it's, now it's like it's like one of those things where um you know when i say you know turn my use the sentiment turn your brain off it's more it's more like uh you can watch like when you watch like a series like you know, a long running series a lot of times they'll like explicitly say things like this is an anime thing they'll say what they're doing and they'll like you know spell it out for you in something like a movie or like uh in some in like um uh, not so much one piece one piece does um the spelling it out for you sometimes a lot too mm -hmm. but uh it assumes that you're paying like one piece and movies assume that you've been paying attention for like you know a couple chapters or like during the entire movie yeah. you didn't like get up and like you know get get a drink or something yeah so like uh if you're paying attention you you uh paying attention you can like get a lot more out of like a series like one piece then but you can still you know enjoy, enjoy one piece the just surface by, you know, level you know watching it because, yes like, i think it's like draw, the, yes the big like, draw of one piece is like that sense of adventure and like you don't need to think about adventure you just vibe you're monkey yeah oh yeah right hey monkey like, my, my favorite my favorite thing in one piece um uh, is like the fact that like being called a monkey is like a compliment like uh, <laughs> you remember the orangutan brothers or like those brothers were like in uh oh the like, deep sea the cricket with, with yeah. the cricket yeah uh -huh. and like uh luffy's like you look like a monk. You look like an orangutan. He's like, oh, you're, he's like, oh, you really like think you mean? so? <laughs> that is the funniest gag. Oh my god! One Piece, One One Piece is, um, is so like weirdly funny, like and like just so unexpected. Um, like there's many times that like I like I remember like um, I'm talking to my friend right now. Like he's mm -hmm. right now watching it. He's right now getting through Punk Hazard, and I'm so super happy, super proud. You know, like he hadn't watched a series for years and i told him to watch it after stampede you know because he he like he enjoyed watching stampede he hadn't really like seen one piece like i think he'd watch alabasta up to that point and he just stopped um but he watched stampede mm -hmm. and he really really enjoyed it and then now he's watching through punk hazard Stamp stampede is like one piece porn 
Oh my it's, god, it's, that, it's, that, like, it's, it's so much. So good. I I think I cried at the end of it too. I'm, I was like, I'm not I'm not a big a big Stan. I'm like one of the like you know I like Stampede because like I like One Piece, but like mm-hmm. I have a, I have a big problem with Stampede. Oh yeah. If you're if you're an anime only fan, like if you're an anime only, you watch Stampede. I I am. Oh uh, yeah yeah. I guess you get spoiled. Yeah, like the, the laugh tale thing really. Yeah yeah yeah. Put a yeah. spoiler warning. if you can like you know Don't, yeah I'll beat the that ra- out. the raft the raft tail part like, really get really gets me because like <laughs> that was hyped up you know for chapters and chapters mm-hmm. it was such a pog moment but uh has that that hasn't happened or did might, that did that happen it yet? might be happening soon like okay. maybe tomorrow like, wow holy smokes but like yeah no that is uh, <laughs> the, the big, oh the big man about, you're the big right thing about one piece is like so like for non one piece watchers like one piece needs to be a longer series for one that's just the type of story it is but like in order to have like these huge crazy like moments you need to like establish a lot of things uh before you you know before things happen like you for me to care about this character for me to care about this like you know hyped up character then they need to have been like you know established for like a long time not at the forefront but maybe like you know on the side Mm. and then when they're finally like you know brought like to us you know brought to the forefront during a flashback i am more hyped because i knew yes. they, i knew they were going to be important i knew they were going to be super powerful so like you know that's sort of like see d- d- that delayed gratification is such you know it's, it's just so cool like it's like something nothing you, that you can experience like with like you know like a smaller smaller series honestly say so. that smaller series are bad I'm yeah but it's a there's a reason why this is our favorite like like is like everyone that everyone keeps looking at us crazy like as if it's like how can you guys love a 1000 episode thing that's still ongoing? And it's like, well, just watch it and you'll understand. It, for me, the way I think about it is like Oda, the creator, he's like juggling. Oh, all right, cool. It's like, it's like Oda, the creator is juggling, all right? And then like, he'll just throw something up like really high. And it's just like, when's that thing coming back down? And he's just juggling. And then he's picking up more things to juggle, picking up more things to juggle. And then that thing comes down and it's just, oh my gosh, I forgot about that thing. And, uh, you know, he's juggling. It's just... It's like a beautiful juggling act, like where so many things are happening and so many things are in different heights and, oh my God, that came back down. And when'd you pick that up? You're juggling a freaking bowling ball now? What? You know, (laughs) it's just, it's, it's beautiful and it's crazy. And it's, it's surprising to see like how far this franchise has gone. And the thing is like, no one really knows like where it's gonna go like you know there's a lot of people like who have made livings off of trying to foreshadow what's gonna happen based off of clues Mm -hmm. in the past yeah and very intelligent people like i've I've only seen this show literally once through you know i have read the manga like along with it like starting chapter 700 up to like here and then but only once through and these Mm -hmm. moments have become so indelible like just so so boom i mean i'll i'll never get like i remember like reading chapter 816 in a bar in north carolina and i cried uh i i, I all they had to say what, what chapter was that i don't know i don't know the rise dono is safe oh that's what I mean. that made me care about like the minx uh, i didn't give, i didn't really care about i the did yeah exactly the happened. minx were like oh i feel bad for you and then when that happened goosebumps bro like i, I was like yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. Like, I example, cried. I, I remember I was reading and I was just sort of like, oh my God. I just, I was pacing around this bar and I was like, I can't believe this just happened. And it's just moments like that time after time. And it's, it's, it's a wonderful ride where it's like, wow, I can't believe what I'm witnessing here. You know, um, I, I just want more people to join that, you know, like in, I I, th- I love the One Piece community except for like when they're trying to spoil things. But otherwise, yeah, they're, they're, they're like those people. Like I hate. Like I I remember I threw my phone like across the room. Mm-hmm. God, like like it, it, like my phone was like on its way out. Yeah, I didn't break it, but like a couple <laughs> weeks later it broke. Oh wow. Um, because like uh you know I opened up Facebook on a whim and then I saw like the Yamato reveal. Oh like, man. Like I'm... four days before the chapter, I was like, that sucks. Like I'm always hoping that like i avoid spoilers and so far thank goodness i've been able to avoid them we'll see how that continues because there's only bigger moments that are going to be happening um 
Uh, anything else you want to say about One Piece? Because I mean, of course, we like keep it, on like going. It, like it, you know, I like it a whole lot. Of course, I could keep on going. I, I, I told, we, we get it. We get it. Like you know, One Piece fans, like uh, we'll, we sort of will get our like you know tangential babbling about One Piece. Um, for like non One Piece fans, uh, One, One Piece, you know, is is really really special to a One Piece fan. So like you know. I'm not saying don't piss off, piss us off. But like, <laughs> I'm more of a saying just don't make us cry because like one piece, one piece has made us cry too many times. We don't we don't need that stress. Oh life. man, I think uh, it's been good cry though. Like it's been like the cathartic. A, like wow, this is yeah. beautiful moments. I mean, mm-hmm. I could think about like my favorite moments. Um, in fact, I'll have to do like a spo- I really do want to yeah. like do like just a spoiler filled episode, like another round talk table. Mm-hmm. But just like, let's just talk about our favorite moments. Like everyone's caught up. I don't That'd care who's listening. We're gonna just be like, you don't remember <laughs> in this moment. Yeah, no, I can't. For example, I can't. Re- I can't like describe Chopper's backstory without tearing up. Oh. Like, I can't like. I can't like verbally talk about Chopper's backstory without like, cr- like you know, like starting to ball. Crying like, like to- he did. So I just like don't. I just don't. Bro, I I I I will cry like him. Oh man, but, like, yeah, about no, it. these okay, like these characters. <laughs> like, the thing about One Piece is like a lot of the characters in One Piece uh, are important. Like the world changes along with a character. For example, if a vil- for example, if a villain, you know, appears once, it's not like he just stops existing. He does his own thing and uh, changes with the world. If a big world changing event like uh, like a power struggle like you know, go- goes one way or another, mm-hmm. or if like territory is like you know. Um, you know, change oh, yeah. to new ownership, the world shifts. You have to mm. pay attention to the newspaper, the world. So, like, One Piece isn't just a story about like a bunch of pirates, it's about a bunch of pirates and the world. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's like uh, why people are so, so big on One Piece's world building. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of content to consume to consume as a One Piece fan, and uh, so far we're eating pretty good. But, uh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, so, yeah. you can love a character who's a side character and absolutely be like truly feasting with that person people that you really don't think they're just gonna like i remember like when barto bartolomeo came through i was like this guy's a dick and ended up becoming like one of my favorite characters you I know love, i love him yeah it's just like and like that was just because he's, you, time. because he's me yeah so it's like <laughs> i mean honestly yeah he's definitely us uh yeah. it's like oh my god luffy sama i'm like yes i i get yeah. that <laughs> um yes oh my god i love one piece uh i, I need to bring you back in for like another episode just to like geek out sure. about yeah, if episodes. you want to talk about you know cons with other, other uh people who've been to conventions or just talk about general one piece or whatever yes yes you know, I'll, I'll, i can make time for it i like talking to you thank you i like talking to you too man thank you and i definitely can't wait for like the next event uh we have to like mm-hmm. catch up on like what we can do next maybe digimon i don't know <laughs> I, mean, I would i would love a Digi- i would love yeah. a digimon thing. yeah something like uh no one would see a uh, digimon thing coming Ooh, no especially like if we did like the og movie something i don't know we'll have to figure out like what we can do if we can do something if not digimon we will figure something out i don't know what smaller things we you know big big dreams um are like are fun you know big plans also fun Mm -hmm. time time management very hard ah right that's a hard part for sure but uh we did it once before i think we could do it again thank you so much for being on the podcast it it was absolute pleasure talking to you and geeking out about one piece i was just like okay hold up we gotta stop because we're about to get into spoiler territory <laughs> one piece but um i definitely have to bring you back on to do the spoiler filled talk uh yeah, that'd be that'd be fun i'd love that yes, i'd love that absolutely yeah uh, and, uh, it's great I'm seeing dave. you yes. I'm dave and uh or fan or fan base and uh i Any, like one piece a whole you, lot <laughs> there we go right also where can people find you like uh where can people so, like, watch that new episode too or then uh, the, the, the remastered so can, diva card yeah, like you can type in pass pass the diva card on youtube search bar um my channel is fan, fan base just fan base one word and you can uh, follow me on twitter and um we can probably just link that in the description right yeah and uh, i post there sometimes but uh, <laughs> i'm not super great at marking myself if you need an editor i can we can talk but uh yeah no i love one piece and uh that's dope dope Thank you so much for being on the podcast. No, no uh, problem. If you listen all the way through, thank you for listening all the way through. Hope you enjoyed uh, our One Piece Build talk, especially about the event. Uh, this event was very precious uh, to me and to a lot of 
fans within the community and I'm glad that it happened and it really couldn't have happened without Dave um you know so so like this was a crucial moment to like really just go deeper in especially there was so much that and I don't think a lot of people would have known about but that's all good hopefully you knew about it now uh and thanks for being dope as always uh it's always wonderful to talk with fans so love to hear what you guys think about these episodes what you'd want to hear more about less one piece talks maybe we'll see <laughs> you know if you want to talk about one piece hit me up i i'm definitely the guy uh and you know thanks for getting back with us as we get back out of our hiatus time so uh, as always stay dope folks peace <laughs>